As a flag football player, you want to have as many tools in your toolbox as possible, meaning the more versatile you can be on the field makes it that much harder for a defender to pull your flag. In today's video, we're going to be teaching one of my favorite moves, the flag dip. Essentially, what a flag dip is, is an exaggerated lunge, bringing that hip level as close as possible to the ground while in motion, just to make it that much harder for a defender to pull your flag. Now I'm going to teach you three movements you're going to do after you've already warmed up to help you get started with your flag dip. The first move that we're going to be teaching today is the lunge with the paws. Here with us today, we have 17U US national team athlete, Ava. So lunge with a pause. We want our feet together first. We'll go right leg first, let's step into a lunge, and we're gonna hold it right there. Notice how her chest is up, she's holding it, knees barely off the ground, all right? Right into it, we don't wanna change our level, we wanna step right into the next one. Boom, hold that for two seconds. Right into it, step into the next one. Hold that for two seconds. Notice how all the weight is on the front leg just to get that power. We step right into it, two seconds, and then we're done. We got two reps each leg. So to wrap this up, important pointers, step, pressure all the way down, knee right above the ground. Once you transition to the next one, make sure you keep that level the same. Moving on to movement number two. It's a nice transition from movement number one. Basically, it's the same thing, we're just not pausing. So we've all done the traditional duck walk with our hands behind our head. Now, it's gonna do a duck lunge. So going back to that first movement, we're gonna do the exact same thing, but essentially we're not pausing. So same thing, we're gonna step, keep that chest high, and we're just rolling into it. We don't rise, we stay low, our chest is high, and we're just rolling with it. We're not pausing, we're just rolling with it. Three huge pointers when doing this, very important to keep in mind is make sure you keep that chest high, you're rolling right through it, keep your levels low, and keep all that pressure in the front leg. So our final movement, a little bit more challenging, but it's really gonna help you with your ankle mobility, with that explosion of the hips to come out and be extremely explosive on that dip. So to start off, we wanna sit down on the ground with our legs tucked underneath our knees. Very important here, you wanna have your ankles as flat as to the ground as possible. This is where the ankle mobility comes in. We wanna hold it there for about five to eight seconds just to get that stretch. Once we've held it there, we wanna start the movement. So we wanna go one, two, and on the third one, we wanna hop up, right? We wanna use all our explosive from our hips. We wanna really get our legs underneath us and hop up and right into that low squat. Go again, Ava. You wanna do that about three times just to get used to it. Once we've gotten it three, now we wanna go right into that lunge. Boom, and we want one, two, right? Go again. Now I want you to do that like full speed. Once we've mastered that, again, the three, right into it. Now we wanna hop up and quickly step two. Go back. Very important here. Notice how when she does it, she stays low, she explodes, and watch the ankle. She drags that back ankle. Drag, drag. That drag is gonna help you balance a lot better than keeping the ankle up. All right guys, to sum it all up, these three movements done consistently should definitely help you in your flag game to do that dip you wanna do and be comfortable with it. We put it all together and pretty soon your dip's gonna look something like this. If you found any value in this content, like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow Flag Check Boys on Instagram.